Okay, so I have a 300 TDI installed in this 1998 Land Rover Discovery. Uh, I've done a few fun things to it. Uh, here's the Discovery here. Put those headlights on, I mean, uh, roof lights on today. I got a video on that. Today, we're going to put in an EGT uh, indicator. Uh, EGT is very important on a diesel because if you over temp it, you're going to destroy your engine. Um, you can't just solely rely on your water temperature to uh, tell you if you're over temping because it'll happen so fast you'll destroy your motor. It's a much quicker method of uh, reporting the engine's over temp. So what I have right here is where normally the uh, EGR would be. I uh, blanked it out. It's a performance enhancement. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to utilize this uh, position here. I'm going to take this plate off. And I'm going to mount a thermocouple right here. So I have to drill a hole, and I'm going to use a quarter 20 tap, uh, tap the hole, and I will put it in here. Obviously, you're going to use anti-seize. Uh, run the wiring into the uh, uh, engine or uh, the driving compartment, and I will install this uh, thermocouple indicator. This is an Auburn A U B E R. Uh, you can buy these on eBay. I paid. $72 shipped. Um, gosh, I don't know why this thing is not focusing. And what's neat about this thing is that you can use a switch in here so that uh, it'll sound an alarm when your EGT uh, gets too hot. Uh, EGT of 1350, 1350 uh, degrees Fahrenheit is too hot. So you're going to want to be alert alerted to. Uh, if you over boot, over temp your uh, engine. Uh, particularly important if you're going to uh, do some tweaking on your uh, fuel control, which I have done. Uh, you get a little more horsepower out of it, a little more torque. I also anticipate installing a uh, CNG injection system on here, compressed natural gas. Uh, it'll boost your horsepower, but you got to be very careful that you do not burn up your motor. So the important thing is to uh, put in this gauge. It'll uh, tell you what your temperature is. It can sound an alarm if you wire up a horn to it, you know, a little beeper, a buzzer. And I will also have it uh, tied into my CNG to cut it out. So that way, you know, if you're just not paying attention, you've got a good song on the radio, and suddenly you've uh, over temped your engine and destroyed it, you don't want to uh, just rely on an indication that's good to have a audible alert. Okay, I got my hole tapped. You need to make sure that the metal you're drilling into is thick enough to support threads. Um, if it's too thin, then you're kind of wasting your time. So now this is a uh, quarter 20, and it'll tap right in. I used a uh, number seven drill bit, and then I followed it up with the tap. I will uh, install this with anti-seize on the threads here and on the threads for the bolts to hold the plate in on my EGR delete. Uh, one important thing to remember, uh, thermocouple wires, you cannot cut these because these terminals are actually different uh, materials. I believe it's chromel and alumel, and um, if you use the wrong stuff, you're going to have, uh, it's not going to work effectively or correctly. Uh, it uses dissimilar metal to uh, create the voltage that gives you EGT indication. So when you're running this, Hopefully the wire that you have is long enough to reach, uh, and you want to be careful when you're running this through your firewall grommet that uh, you don't damage these uh, two terminals. Otherwise, it uh, won't work very well. Okay, the EGT indicator's in. The engine's running right now. Um, as you can see, it's a much faster response time in changes of uh, temperature than say your uh, normal temperature gauge would be. Uh, pretty straightforward wiring. You've got a, uh, a power and a ground that I used as ignition. These two here, uh, are, this has a, a built-in relay so it can run a, uh, a device such as a buzzer or whatever uh, that you can set for your uh, over temp. <clears throat> And uh, you've got your two, uh, two wires from your thermocouple. Again, remember, you can't just cut these off and make them whatever length you want. It's a special type of terminal. Uh, the red is the positive, 
and the yellow is the negative. If you uh, happen to hook them up backwards, all that would happen is instead of the temperature getting hotter, it would actually get colder. Uh, it just works in reverse, so it's not a big deal. Here I've got uh, a CNG system on it uh, where I can run it actually in uh, CNG and diesel. Gives you more horsepower and such. I've got a video on the conversion on that. But this is the uh, EGT indicator, pretty neat thing. Uh, you can set your uh, your max temperatures, uh, just dial them up as the one it will report your uh, over temp condition. So that's it for the EGT indicator. It's uh, good to have when you have a diesel. Um, these aren't mounted yet. When they're mounted, it'll be it'll look a lot better in there. Um, and there you go. Good to get. So now I've got the uh, modified coin tray back in place. I cut out a plastic uh, piece, uh, made a little cutout for the uh, switch, a cutout for the uh, CNG, and a cutout for the uh, EGT. Uh, looks really good. Looks kind of factory actually. And, um, and that's it.